Emerald Amethyst Temple Bounce is the name of the game today. So you got stuff like Madame Mim to bounce your low cost stuff. You have the Maleficence for some questing, but the Emerald side of things is pretty sweet. We obviously have the double Ursula package and what this is really going to be. Well, this is the one, you know, doubling up your songs and the song that we're really looking at is obviously going to be the friends on the other side drawing so many cards but there's so much more value to be had even just in its locations the deck is so sweet and we get to play our first three games here many more to come we're playing some tempo bounce and honestly isn't that bad i'll, I'll just confirm it i'll just confirm it. it's, it's not bad Ooh, you got a goat off the rip there so whenever Challenges a hyena character. Oh, okay. It's pretty sweet value. Are we playing? Oh no, we're not playing aggro. I think steel though. Oh, oh no, no, no. They're not going to be playing like the infinite here. So I think I generally want to challenge this. Yeah, I think I want to challenge that location. So get rid of one of these. We'll play. We'll play the Rafiki to challenge, and then we'll pass. Oh, and they have like new footsteps. This person's been playing for a hot minute. Um, let's see here. I think next turn, probably just going to be Maleficent, honestly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to kill this. We'll get rid of Ursula. And then we'll play Maleficent. Pass. Pride Lands. Yeah. Yeah, Pride Lands, we got to we gotta kind of get rid of. But Rafiki's going to do their best to kind of provide that value. Oh, and they just conceded. Okay, well, Temple Bounce doing that crazy. Let's, let's do another one. Let's get an actual game going here. So uh, I think this hand honestly is fine. Uh, we can get rid of one of these maybe. But it curves not bad. I'd probably just get rid of my Tinkerbells. Um, yeah, it just... Yeah, I mean, this curves pretty well. Like, I could just play Curse Merfolk. Then play Flynn, and then they're just kind of discarding cards at that point. I would love to go first, though. That'd be great. Uh, let's drop a Tinkerbell for now. We'll play a Curse Merfolk, and then hopefully we can get some tempo going. Tempo works best if you go first, I will say that. So let's see if we can't get this going. Tempo bounce. Ursula being able to sing friends on the other side. Oh, no, sorry. Wrong Ursula. But Ursula just being able to look at their hand, I think, is going to be good. They're playing Steel. So there should be a song or two that we can grab. But it might not be a card that I really want to play on Curve. Because is like I feel like grabbing a song is just more value. Uh, oh, okay. Well, there you go. So there we are going to get some value out of this. Okay. Um, I think what we're going to do here... Get rid of this and then play do this play flynn and pass yeah like yeah they can they can challenge us all they want they'll just lose a card oh okay they did they don't wanna okay all right all right for each location Interesting. They're just playing that for... Va oh, right. And they can sing that. That's fine. We get to use it first. I'm fine with that. We get to use this first. Like, use our fresh cards first. Okay. So, they get to play a card for free here. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's going to be some big cost reduction coming coming our way right now. Um, This is the song one, though. So, I think what we might do... Honestly, just quest, quest, just largely ignore what they're doing. Let's go Ursula. Definitely take that. Right? Let's go Ursula and then play Curse Merfolk. And then pass. That, that's a card to grab. I will say that. That is a, that is a fantastic card to grab. Um, and then... Next turn, we could go maybe... Mm, I don't know. What character do we want to exert? We don't have, like, great challenging characters right now. Okay, well, that's a good card to sing. If there ever was one, that's a good card to sing. But if they don't sing it, I'm taking it. That's the idea here. If they don't sing it, I'm taking it. 
They could play action and then sing that, kill our stuff. Yep. They don't really want to be discarding cards. Yep. Fine. So we won't look at their hand. That's fine. So that's gone. And then they can discard a card by challenging this. Yep. Discard a card. They'll lose something there. That's fine. So this has the... the wait, why? Why didn't it lose something there? Um, yeah, we don't need that many Ursulas. I think we just go... Bang and... Yeah, nothing to grab. Yeah, it just <laughs> invalid selection. Um, yeah, I just want to play out two. Um, doesn't really matter. We'll just exert this. Um, I don't think I want a quest here. We'll pass. I probably should have honestly just gone Ursula Rafiki. This deck is just getting out way farther than me. Yeah, this deck is just getting out way farther than me right now. The double location is kind of unfortunate. They'll just quest. They'll just quest. Yeah, not a lot of tempo happening on my end. I do need to kind of make a bit of a comeback here. Um, not a lot of tempo happening on our end. So what we can do here is maybe go, maybe do this. Just prevent some of the value coming off of that, right? Then we can maybe just take this out, right? Don't need that too much. Draw a card. All right, play the Rafiki. Um, and then just start damaging some stuff here. I don't know. I don't know. Like, th this card is really making this a little hard. All right, pass the turn. I'm not sure if we're winning this. I'm not sure if we're winning this one. Not a lot of tempo when you when you go second uh, against a deck like this. They were just able to get out some good stuff, honestly. Yep. Okay. John Silver is just like really good value here. Yep, and they'll draw a card off that. Just really good value. Yep. Quest that away. They have a one cost to play. Hey, yo. Yep. They know what to do here. They know what to do here. Just getting all of that such good value yeah i think i think we might lose this at this point yeah let's just let's go to another one let's concede let's concede i'm going second again all right whatever let's let's run this let's run this um we're probably not playing pinocchio on two we're probably just playing flynn rider we'll get rid of big earths here and then we'll keep our goats as much as possible keep our goats as much as possible here Oh, lordy lord. Okay. All right. Uh, this nonsense again. So let's get rid of Urs. Lay out the Maleficent. Pass. I'm telling you, if, if I went first here, th this whole game would be... This whole game would be different. Going second is painful. It's painful here. Is there a hand you draw a card? Play one less for the character you play next turn. Hey, yo, playing two drops for free... Seven dwarves aggro. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we'll get rid of this. We'll play. F we'll play Flynn. Um, I won't quest with that. I won't quest with that. Next turn, we can quest. Play Madam Mim. And that's probably the plan. And then we can kill the Pluto because that's just going to be all this like infinite value that they have. Yep. Play out your dwarves. Play out your dwarves. Yep. They just dump their hand. Wow. This is this is quite the deck. Okay. They, they just want to get on the board. It's quite the deck. I'll give it to them. Okay. Um... All right, if they don't want to do any of that, that's fine. Mm, gains challenger three. So let's do this. And then do 
do this. Honestly, let's just do this. Let's just do what we plan to do. Let's just do what we plan to do. Play this. Bounce the Maleficent. And then pass. Next turn, we'll ink the Merlin play goat. And then I think, I think honestly, the goats, the goats can take us the mile here. Just need them to start questing. Come on, play that. Yes, there you go. Okay, what are you playing? What are you playing that costs like five? <laughs> you playing that costs five. This Pluto is actually like so good. Okay. Honestly, maybe it's like, maybe I play Merlin here. Like actually, maybe I play Merlin here and then I can kill the, the piglet. Mm. Honestly, maybe get rid of one of the goats here and then we just challenge them on stuff. Like we could just wipe this, right? Then what we do is we play this, play this. So this is when you play this character and leaves play chosen character again, challenge plus three. Yeah, so play this, then challenge up. Um, honestly, probably just this, just, just wipe that out. Just that cost reduction so that they don't have triple. And then that also quests. I, I didn't like, it's like the piglet, like they'll keep questing with and I can kill later. And then what I can do is next turn, maybe force down a tap with the Pinocchio. Um, if there's something that they want to take advantage of here. And they, they could very much like banish the popsicle, remove some damage here. But I think we generally should be fine. This is the type of nonsense that's really frustrating. The ward and the resist. Yeah. So they'll attack into that. They can't do that though. Yeah. They don't have enough resist for that. Yeah, they can they can go in with the with the sneezy. They can go in with the sneezy. Yeah. And then they can just like popsicle it. Yeah. Go in with the sneezy. But I like where they are they're at. Like they kind of need their reduction. So I think I think now is where I start attacking like the Pluto. And then I can tap down piglet here kill piglet because piglet only has resist one um and just wipe their board out because they played what well, they played this out this is where kind of tempo um manages just to kind of claw things back but let's see what they want to do here see how greedy they want to get opponent just indecisive use your popsicle there you go use your popsicle Yep, remove the damage, makes sense. So now what we're gonna do, let's just think about how we're gonna use this turn. So we can wipe this, we can kill this, then tap this down to, you know, Rafiki, or we Rafiki this, we Rafiki this. Yeah, we Rafiki this. Then what we do is we use this to tap this down and then that's two for two right then what we can do is honestly i'm down to just play this and this and then quest here and then not ink this my, bo my board's pretty wide what i could potentially do is i could even suicide the merlin into one of these um, and then this cogs work just has to kind of be in the background. Like, yeah, they have this cost reduction, but how much are they really going to be able to take advantage of it? Let's see. I mean, they, they might, they might hear so the next spell you got. Yeah. The next spell you play. Yeah. So minus one power. That's fine. No, the other one gets plus one attack. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, well. Okay. So they're empty handed. I like that. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get some value here. So, oh, they're gonna are they gonna attack with Cogsworth? That is attacking with Cogsworth is a bold move. Um. Uh, while challenging. I mean, I don't know. I'll just I'll just give it to this. It doesn't really matter. 
Yep. So that's... You get some value out of that. So that is an interesting move here. Because... We are going to get some value out of this. Um... How do we want to play this? So I'm going to go three and then one. Three and then one. Right? That removes the resist on these. And then that, I can then Rafiki into this. Uh, we can play this. Right? And then just do this. Pass. Okay, reduction, they have like a five cost. Oh, lordy lord. Ah, literally the perfect draw. Literally the perfect draw. Okay, all right. Literally the perfect draw. You can't even, I don't know, you, you just, you can't do much more. You can't do much more. Literally the perfect draw. Okay. They could have drawn anything else. Okay, get another seven dwarves. Okay, that is that is a really good card there. They're gonna quest. They're gonna quest. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna aggro some stuff out here. So in this case, so this can't quest without a seven dwarves. So it's it's in my interest to try and kill it. But what I can also do is just wipe this out because that is also just a massive problem in a card. Right? That is just a massive problem in a card. Then we can quest here, and then we can play this. And then sure, they can gain five ink, but then I'm getting a lot of value out of my goats here. The, go the, the Merlin goat, crazy value. It's been like four ink. This Merlin goat's been like four ink. So I can get one, two, three, four, five this turn. And I could definitely... I, I think I want to spend some resources killing off their stuff here. But this thing having five is, like, really annoying. Yeah. Okay. So, they'll kill that. That's fine. I might just throw my goats into that, honestly. Let's see. Yeah. So, let's go... Doesn't really matter. This goat into this. Gain one. Yep. And then this goat into this, gain one. Now this can't quest, right? And then I will just play this. Do I want to quest with this? Maybe. Then they just attack into it and kill it. No, let's just let's just use it for something else. Okay, I was gonna say you play a seven dwarf here, I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna get. But this 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 could also be the same thing. You, you draw on a card, okay? Come on, you didn't like just draw the exact three costs. This deck is this deck is like quite a thing. Okay. Uh I'm a fan of that. So we'll go one, two, bounce here, bounce that. And I'm a fan of that. We're at 17. We could very much just win it here. If they don't have the removal, we very much could just win it here. Could very much just win it here. Love that. Lantern being a dead draw. Okay. Two lanterns. Play out your play out your other card. That is annoying. That that is annoying. Okay. Alright, so you can kill that. Which is perfectly fine with me. I'll I'll gain my ink. I think I think being aggressive is probably what I want to do here. Because a top deck goat just wins me this here. A top deck goat like genuinely just wins me this. That's smart. That's smart. Uh, so next turn, they can gain three and and one. They can gain four, which is not a problem for me because I'm just going to play this and then quest, quest. Now, they have to kill the Queen Castle because I don't see how they're gaining six lore in one turn. I do not see that. Sure. I do not see how you're getting six lore in one turn. That is GG's opponent. The Queen's Castle. Seven. Life is so big. So, so, so big. 
that is GG's tempo ends up coming out on top here so big so big so big all right GG's all right we got there not a bad little introduction uh to some tempo bounce